Hey folks, Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar Services out of Northeast Georgia. This is the, probably the lowest cost way to EMP proof something. And what I'm doing is I'm taking these galvanized trash cans, this little 20 gallon can fits perfectly inside of this 31 gallon can. It's almost like the folks at Barrens or Barrens or however you say it knew that we were going to use them to EMP proof components for a solar power system. So I've got the customer's inverter in here. I'm also going to put there pretty much anything that has a control board on it is going in there. So here's the system. And um, I'm going to put two full charge controllers in the cans, uh, the controller, the whole inverter. This is all just switch gear. And I'm also going to put the battery monitoring kit, which is inside there. They're all going in these two cans, along with a lot of radios and other goodies. This prepper is prepped. So he's got some cool radios and I don't even know what else he put in there. The chargers and he mentioned some iPads. So anyway, what I've done here is I have put one can inside the other, but before I do it, I've got uh, uh, cardboard all around. So this can, none of the metal on the inside can is touching any of the metal on the outside can. And then this unit right here is encased in cardboard too. I've got cardboard down below. So that, that makes that thing, uh, it's kind of floating. It's a nested Faraday cage, makeshift as per instruction of engineer 775. So I'm gonna put the lids on it and uh, seal that one up and that one will be good. I tried to find the real, the tightest fitting lids I could at Tractor Supply. And uh, this is, this is serious folks. So, gotta do what they asked me to do. These are the charge controllers. I'm gonna be putting two Magnum. ME PT 100s inside of another can. There's the PT 100. I put two of those in there and all the controllers. It's also nice to just have a backup inverter if you're trying to be an off grid, off gridder. So I got all my components boxed up and they're inside of a nested Faraday case. So there's that Magnum inverter. There's those controllers and the battery monitor. And I've taken cardboard and I put one trash can, a 20 gallon, inside of a 31 gallon. And I've insulated them with cardboard in between. And then right here is all the uh, all the components for the charge controllers. So, and uh, this customer wanted some redundancy. I think it's a great idea to have some extra stuff in case something happens. Uh, this, oh, he's also got 12 panels, stack of panels sitting there. So, you know, if something happens, he can, he can set this stuff up out in the yard if he has to. So if you're looking for a cheap and easy way, get you a 20 gallon and a 30 gallon, put one inside the other and insulate them from each other and you have yourself a makeshift Faraday cage. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to our channel. My name is Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar.